Hello, everybody. As always, this is Kondrick, and as usual, we are back in the Sky Factory 3 world on the Regency server. Uh, just back for another quick recap. Um, so last night on stream, if you look at the minimap, the old base is gone. We no longer have the old base. Um, it was torn down, as was the travel anchor at, that was going to the pathway, and I can probably actually get rid of that this little bridge here. Um, Actually, I can probably get rid of all the, the uh, wood slabs, but I'm not in any rush to do that. What we did today, we didn't really do a lot last um, last night on stream. I was just setting up some uh, void level platforms here. As you can see, we've got a few void level platforms. I also set up a spot for passive mobs to spawn over there, and they haven't been spawning. The uh, two cows that are over there, or the one cow I can't even tell from here, uh, that was that is over there, uh, was spawned with bait. It did not naturally spawn, so... Not sure why, but passive mobs are not spawning for me. Uh, it might be too low, actually. It shouldn't be, but it might be. Uh, and I've, you can see I've got some other platforms in place, the outlines of some platforms anyway. They're not fully done. And then uh, I also started working on setting up storage for the mob farm. It's not quite done yet. As soon as it is, though, I will be adding the drop of evil to make this into Cursed Earth. Uh which will increase the mob spawns significantly. Uh, I also last night set up a uh, tier 3 crafter to automatically create the higher tiers of essence. And what it does, how it works, is that it will pull essence out of the drawer controller. There's a filter right here that will make sure that it's only putting nor uh, the basic essences into the crafter. So it pu pulls essence out of the drawer controller, puts it in the crafter. The crafter then creates the next tier up of essence, puts it back into the export, which goes back into the drawers, and then it pulls it back out to go to the next tier. And yes, uh, it is a little bit of a redundant cycle that way. But the, way the reason I'm doing it that way is because um, the way it will work is it will fill up on Supremium. And then when it's full of Supremium, it will no longer have anywhere to send the Supremium. So this this spot right here will backlog. And then once it can no longer craft Supremium because there's nowhere to put it, it will then start to fill up on the Superium. Once that fills up, it'll again backlog and it'll start filling up the Intermedium and then the Prudentium and the Inferium and so on. And that way I can eventually, it's going to take a while, it's going to be kind of slow at first, once I get the mob farm fully... Uh, uh, upgraded to be constantly dark and full speed production, then it'll fill up fairly quickly. And then I will have basically as much as I could possibly want of each type of essence always available. And then probably what I'll do is I'll put an avoid upgrade on the Inferium. Uh, just so that as more essence comes in, it doesn't end up clogging things. Uh, now what we did this morning... It, whoops, went to the wrong spot. Here we go. So what we did this morning was set up this farm platform right here. Uh, which I've got, I've worked part way through, as you can see, I've got the essence seeds pulled up on the side here. I've worked my way through the first little bit of, uh, essence. There are a couple spots I don't have the resources to make the seeds for, but my goal is to have one of each seed, at least one of each seed. And the thing is, I have looked at it in my test world and that's really only going to fill like about four rows of the uh, farmland here. So I may end up doing two or three of each seed. I'm not sure yet. But the goal right now is to get one of each seed, and then I can I can create more as needed, maybe increase certain uh, certain crops that don't produce as fast as I need or whatever. And I also set up the farming station. Uh, we can see the power for the farming station is decreasing, so I need to improve my power production. Uh, but I will be leaving this running. Um, I may turn it off for a little while and then turn it back on. Uh, I will be leaving this running for most of the day so I can get some essence going. As you can see, I've got a decent amount already, which is good. And um, I've got a flux point under here, which is powering the farming station. And if we go up to the main platform, we can see that uh, we've got this flux plug here, which I put there a um, couple streams ago, a few streams ago, which is making sure that everything's powered and the staff of traveling gets powered as well. In fact, okay, send mode is small as first, so that should be feel, uh, that should fill up the staff of traveling fairly quickly. But anyway, yeah, so uh, again, it feels like a lot didn't get done, but like I uh, like I said in the last recap, even though it feels like slow progress, it's a big step towards my uh, my plans for the future. And I need to make more of, more of these platforms. I have specific layout in mind. I know exactly what I want to do. It's just a matter of getting it all done because it's very easy to get distracted uh, during stream time. And as you can see, we've got too many mobs right there. That dirt platform needs to go away. 
Uh, that happened. If you can see, there's a grave down there. That happened because Liz decided to visit me on my stream last night and uh, punch me off of one of these little side things into the void. I got my stuff back, no big deal. But then uh, she hopped off into the void and she just left her grave there, uh, which is empty because she had dropped off everything before she came over to visit. But um, yes, so there we go. That's uh, that's what's been accomplished in the last two streams. I am thinking, though, that for these recaps, what I might start to do is actually have it be a two-part recap because I have a very hard time remembering what happened um, the night before just because I have a terrible short-term memory. Once things are done and over with, I tend to forget about them. So what I might start doing is I might start splitting these recaps into two parts, and I might just do a quick recap, record that part immediately after the night stream, after the evening stream, and just cover what has happened at night. And then again, after my morning stream, I might go back and, uh, or I might recap the morning with a little bit of a, a, a reminder of what happened the night before and then put the two pieces together to get the full recap, uh, which will one, give me a slightly longer video probably. And two, it'll make it a lot easier for me to remember what I actually did. So anyway, um, so the plan for the stream tonight no guarantees that it'll work out that way, but the plan for the stream tonight is to try to finish up getting the mob uh, mob farm sorted and um, and actually get the mob farm closed off and fully high-speed production, that kind of thing. We'll see how that goes. It may work out. It may not. Um, I also want to get some more crops done on the farm, and I really, really need to get more resource production in place. I need to get more power production. I need to get more resource production. Uh, auto sieve backup and all that good stuff. I have to figure out where I want that platform to be first. That's going to be the main thing. Uh, but yep, yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be done and uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to be going with the stream tonight, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try the split recap uh, after tonight's stream and we'll see how that works out. So uh, again, hope you enjoyed watching the recap. I hope to see you on stream hanging out in the chat. Link is in the description, of course, to get to my streaming channel, which you can go to chondrick.com slash stream to get over there. And, uh, yep, hope to see you in stream, and have a great day.